Hey everybody, what's happening? Andy Irvine here again. Today, I've been getting a few requests from people and uh, they've been wanting me to do a little lesson on uh, on slapping the bass, you know. I call it slapping and plucking. Super cool style. Um, you know, invented by the great Larry Graham and uh, many, 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 many people over the years have... Um, have used it primarily in funk music, and um, it's found its way into in all into all different kinds of styles, and it's been evolved to many many different places of um, complexity, and I'm um, taking it to highly technical, sophisticated places, and so on. The styles that I tend to do um, tend to be the old school styles. You know, I was hip to um, Lewis Johnson uh, and Stanley Clark early on, and they were kind of my primary influences. And also the cat that I'm going to talk about today, um, Mr. Marcus Miller. Now, when it comes to the slapping and uh, slapping and plucking on the bass or slapping and popping on the bass, there's it's it, it's tricky business, you know. Um, the the main the main key uh, element of it all is that it's it's got a ton of subdivision in it, and there's a lot of sophisticated rhythmic components to it. And um, the bottom line is that you know. If you're going to venture into into that type of um, feel and that type of line, you best land all your moves. You know you have to land all your moves, and um, because if you don't, if you lose the one and you don't land all your don't you know don't land on your feet, then um, the groove goes away and it, you know it's game over. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you got to You got to land everything, right? And um, so what I tend to do is um, you know I don't really. Uh, aspire to do all the super fly, super fly licks, you know, like a lot of cats are doing nowadays. Um, I keep my action pretty high on the bass and, and I use kind of heavier gauge strings because I prefer the tone. So that limits the amount of, you know, speed and, and super fast articulation I can get going. But that's okay because th I don't really want to do that anyways. So, um, you know, the, the the cat I want to talk about today a little bit is, is Marcus Miller because, um, you know, history will prove that Marcus Miller is is one of the greasiest and one of the nastiest uh, slap bass players of all time. You know, and everybody knows this, and everybody digs him. He has uh, the innate ability to um, to just stay real greasy. You know, even when he's slapping, and um, a, a a big part of what he does that I found just from just from checking him out a little bit, you know, um, is that he has this, this great slow hand thing going on. And um, I can really dig that because, um, you know, I found that when you get into the slapping and the plucking, if you, at, the, at, the, at the higher rate of tempo, it starts to sound real manic, you know. And, um, you know, it can come undone real easy. But he has this ability to really just kind of do it at a medium tempo and really let the notes ring, you know, a little bit and leave, and, and leave some space in there. So the thing I'm going to show you today... It's going to be a combination of uh, uh, of my style, my techniques, but I'm going to throw in a couple of uh, classic uh, Marcus Miller licks in there, just to give you an idea of of his flavor, you know. And I don't I don't make a practice of trying to teach people how to play other people's styles and licks, you know. I usually just try and teach my own thing because I know expert on Marcus Miller. I know expert on anybody. The only person I'm expert on is me. But uh, for, th for this purpose today, I'm going to incorporate a couple of classic Marcus Miller licks. And then I'm going to encourage you to go out and check out Marcus because there's a ton of stuff that he's got out there that will blow your mind. And it'll be a great way to get into this whole slap and then a pop and slapping and a plucking, uh, you know, journey in, in the bass. So the first, the first move, we're in the key of E, funky E. And this is kind of one of my things. It's going to start with a. It's going. To, this thing's going to have several different components, but uh, the first is going to just be a rake down to a hammer on, and we're all going to be. Everything's kind of going to be out of the uh, E pentatonic, so we're kind of going like yeah, you know, like this, yeah. <laughs> So that's your first move. Alright, next move. Just 
kind of starting to go down that pentatonic scale. Now that move is another rake, but it's got a double pluck on it. So your whole first thing is... And first, Marcus Miller lick number one. So we're actually pivoting. We're slapping and finger style. We're pivoting back and forth. So that's another good thing about this. You'll be able to, to incorporate that in there. So you got... Then again, first variation, then back to the first one we did the first time. Another one of the Marcus licks. And then the last time, this time we don't go all the way down. And we do this here, uh, Marcus Miller Lick number two. And that's the whole thing. That's the whole complete package of this, uh, of this uh, thing. So it's going to go like this. You don't have to do that rake down every time when you're first coming down. This here. You know, you could do that wherever you want. And you don't have to adhere to this perfectly either, you know. You get the main idea, but the the concept is that we're we're just using we're using um the the, the licks and, and 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 going back to the, the previous lick, then adding a new lick, then um using a a final lick to to make it a complete thing. So you have your main line. That's like the main theme. And then there's these connecting licks. And the first is, that one ends up getting done twice. And then, it does, and then the, the, the second um, connecting lick is that. And the final um, connecting lick is that. Uh, uh. And you can either slap that or play it with your fingers. All right? So that's the components of this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the drum beat now. And all you people that got the loops, dynamite, we're up to about 90 people now that are hip to these loops and having some fun with it. I'm going to use this, uh, I'm going to use this uh, loop called uh, the backseat the backseat funk backseat funk one is the loop I'm gonna use for this because it's at a nice medium tempo now this has a ride cymbal groove on it which isn't ideal but um, it's it the, it's the right tempo and the right feel for what I'm trying to what we're trying to do here today all right so here we go Thank you. 
that Marcus Miller kind of slow hand um, funk thing with a few of my little um, licks infused in there and um, you know I hope you could have some fun with that obviously I did a little improvising in the middle in between those sections and kind of broke it up and that's kind of what you do you know you you kind of create a theme and you kind of funk out and um, almost as if it's a head you know almost as if the funk slap part is a head and then put some improvisation in the middle get into a pocket, you know, make room for somebody else to do something and then um, and then come back to that head again and just kind of create a little a little mini uh, funk song form of your own and uh, and have some fun with it, you know, that's the main thing and definitely check out some Marcus Miller because he's the man and um, there's a lot of great, a lot of great stuff to be gained from um, getting hip to his thing, alright? So uh, we'll talk to y'all real soon and peace <laughs>